Mr. Andy's going for a ride. It's a very, very slow miracle round. Okay, but that's not what we're here to talk about today. We are here to talk about Google Cardboard, what's going on with it. Um, as many of you guys may know or may not know, Google has added a VR section to the play dot or store dot google dot com and you can check out the original Google Cardboard uh, version 2 there's some other the Viewmaster that Google had partnered with Mattel to make that uses Google Cardboard and then there is also a new Google C1 glass which is kind of more of a compact design and uh, that's what we're going to check out today so take off our original cardboard you guys all know how the original cardboard works you put your device inside you go on ahead and set it in there fold it back up you use the button here on the side to select things look through your lenses to see what's going on um, but Gar google had released a what they call the c1 glass which is a thinner down or thin down more compact style and you can see it right here in its casing. Um, this is a very, very thin, very small uh, Google Cardboard version with the lenses in it. And uh, a, well, you, it's mainly like a, I want to say a contemporary, not so much contemporary, it's a, it's a different look on cardboard. And um, this way you can you can uh, take it with you where you go and you're not packing around a big old bulky piece of uh, cardboard, literally. So uh, what we'll do is we'll go on ahead and take a closer look at these. Okay, so here we have the Google Tech, is what they call it here. Uh, C1 Glass, immersive VR experience for everyone. Uh, like it says here, works with Google Cardboard. Uh, it is experience virtual reality in a simple, fun, and affordable way by Google Tech. On the bottom here, we have our QR. You'll end up using that for when it's time to pair them to your Google Cardboard application. Uh, they're pretty simple. There's really no directions on the back here. Take frequent breaks while using C1 if you experience nausea, discomfort, eye strain, uh, or disorientation. Immediately discontinue use of the C1 glass. Not for children 12 and under, yada yada. Uh, besides that, there's nothing else really to them going ahead and crack these open and take a look uh, there might already be a couple videos out about these I know there's at least one that I have seen myself online about these uh, this type of uh, glass C1 glass which to me stands for concept one so uh, yeah the reason why I picked these up these are the cheapest thing you'll find in VR these are 13 or 14 dollars and then the original cardboards 15 and then you have the Viewmaster, which is in the 30s or 40s for one of those. So I can pull these out. They come in a nice microfiber bag, so easy to conceal. So when people look, you know, when people look at you when you're carrying these around, like, what have you got? And moment of truth. Voila. These lenses here. Well, this is this don't these don't go in your ears. You'd think this would be like glasses if you wear them like that, but you actually don't. This is where your phone goes and sits, and you can hold it like so. And then you basically just put your eyes up to your glass. So we will put a phone in, my V10, to show you guys. Okay, and so as you can see, I have my LG V10 in place. They are put inside the glass holsters. You can see our QR code on the left side, my phone's back side, and then our right side of it where it mentions go 4d it looks like and says google tech right in between the lenses that is basically how it will look when you um are when these are sitting i'm just looking there you know how they how it looks in general but uh let's see it looks like this goes right there that probably helps hold the phone in place it's the little rubber bands move this stuff out of the way and you know, reposition the camera Okay, so now I have the camera repositioned. As you can see, these balls at the end have a rubber band going around. That's probably to hold the phone in place so it doesn't slip out too easily. On the other side, of course, we have our screen, our lenses, like I mentioned earlier. If we take this off and look at it, where the 
the phone is held right against this ridge and then the balls that hold it on the back side. Um, the padding right here is just pure plastic. It's not a vinyl or felt, no rubber to it. So if you're worried about scratching your screen, that is a possibility. For me, I'm using glass screen protector on my phone as well, so I'm not too worried about it. But uh, yeah, these are very minimal. These are made for just for when you are out and about and you need to you want to play on VR and see how it looks. The one thing I can think of, you're not so immersed in VR, being that you're going to have a lot of light coming in from the sides when you are using these. Um, I can see that your screen will definitely be brighter because it's picking up the lighting that's around you. So uh, that will be a thing. I will go on ahead and make an updated video about this of what I think of these. So this is our mic. Appreciate you guys checking out this video. I know it's kind of a, kind of a long one, not too bad. Um, this is, like I said, Google Tech. This is the C1 Glass. You can get this on Google's official VR site through the Google uh, Store or store.google. I'll put the link down below for that along with the link for the C1 Glass itself. If you guys enjoyed the video, please hit that like button. Give it a thumbs up. Um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section down below. If you're new, hit that subscribe, and I will see you all in the next video.